What do you imagine, President Trump? How will we, he respond in a few hours' time, do you imagine, Charles? Good morning. Uh, good morning. Well, you know, trying to predict uh, President Trump is just about the most in- possible thing anyone can do. Uh, I would be lying if I said anything other than I don't have a clue what he is going to do except this. Uh, I had predicted earlier that if there were no U.S. casualties, which it turns out, fortunately, it doesn't appear as if there have been any on the ground there, that if there were none, it would give President Trump a face-saving way of backing down from his more inflammatory rhetoric that he tweeted just the other day, promising to rain down upon Iran all sorts of of U.S. weaponry uh, in the event that they did any sort of uh, retaliatory measures. Um, And in fact, that's what he did uh, when it turned out that at least the early reports indicate no U.S. casualties on the ground there. He tweeted all as well, and yes. uh, he'll talk to everybody in the morning. He was going to have a, an Oval Office address in the evening. He decided to put it off. That indicates that there's a less degree of urgency. So my guess is he's going to say something like um, what we did was in proportion to uh, what the Iranians have been doing, and if they play nice, we'll play nice, and we will probably then go back to the proxy war we've been having with Iran for the past several years. And I think we take a lot from what's coming from the foreign minister in Tehran that this is a proportionate and concluding response. They seem to be making the right sort of sounds as well, don't they, Charles? Yeah, I I mean, I think what you're seeing is is both sides wanting to de-escalate. But, look, that doesn't mean that everything is going to be just, you know, peachy fine going forward. One of the things that the people in in the U.S. are most concerned about, uh, at least domestically, more than missiles flying, is cyber warfare. And there is great concern in this country that the next move on the part of the Iranians might be directed toward the United States mainland in the form of some sort of cyber attack, much more difficult to deal with, much more difficult to be able to point your finger with any certainty and say, yeah, it was the Iranians that did it. And that's, I think, a bigger concern domestically than anything else at the moment.